It's been a tough three years for a 22-year-old Middleton man and his family. In 2006, Patrick Kelaleo suffered a severe brain injury after falling 25 feet from an escalator at Denver's airport. But he's making progress. And as Paul Burton shows us, a new film traces Patrick's path to recovery. Hi, guys. You just never know what struggles life may bring. And for 24-year-old Patrick Hillale, these past three years have been insurmountable. We're focused day by day. You don't look too far forward. You don't look back. That's because looking back is just too painful. Patrick was a vibrant young boy, captain of his soccer team, played Division I at URI. Then in 2006, going away on spring break with his friends, Patrick fell off an escalator at the Denver International Airport. And when he sat on the reel, he leaned against the wall and looked up to see where his buddies were and didn't realize that the wall ended and he fell. Patrick fell 25 feet and suffered severe brain damage. After six weeks in intensive care and years of therapy, Patrick still can't speak and he can barely move. Sometimes he'll give me a thumbs up. Um, he can smile, he laughs. The film's about an hour long. Patrick's story of recovery is now being told in a documentary called Where There's a Will. It's produced by one of Patrick's high school friends, Corey Fenier. To see someone that was such an athlete so immobile was really heart-wrenching for me. The hour-long film documents the financial and emotional struggle Patrick and his family have gone through over the past three years. It also highlights the power of people coming together. I learned a lot about what people are willing to do to help someone else. Just to find compassion for people with, with um, disabilities. The other thing is, is they need to understand that life is a gift. Every day is special. You don't know when it's going to end. Patrick is making tremendous strides. He hasn't been able to eat in three years. He's been using a feeding tube, but just this week he was fed his first cup of yogurt. But as you can ima imagine, the therapy has been extremely difficult for the family. They do have a fun set up for Patrick. Just log on to our website, WBZTV.com, and click on local news. But Jack, oh. wow, you just never know. You know, and it happened like that. Go just, from a great athlete to yeah. fighting for your life. Paul, thanks a lot. Absolutely.